to The Breakdown. I'm your host, Diane Rember, avid reader, award-winning literary blogger, and the founder of Diamonds Literary World, which is my footprint in the literary industry. Today, I want to talk to you about book number six in the Hallelujah Love series by Letitia Lovely, um, entitled Heaven Forbid. Um, if you are following me, you know I recently read Reverend Feelgood or reread Reverend Feelgood for a project um, and then went on to reread Heaven Forbid. Let me just say to you, um, award-winning, best-selling author, Richard Christopher Murray, said something um, quite a while ago. She made a suggestion that I have adopted into my reading. Um, she suggested that, you know, you reread a book that you read some time ago. Simply because um, you will be amazed at the things that you've either missed or you did not remember. So in rereading this, I started reading the book and I'm like, I don't remember this. I remember some of the characters. I do. I did not remember a lot of the things that occurred in this book. Um, if you recall, in book five, Reverend Feelgood, um, Nathaniel Thick, Reverend Nathaniel Thick, he was ousted from his position because um, there was a tape that was revealed that he was having sex with a with a underage teenager. That was not his wife. Um, and so, um, his, so now one of his mentors, which is the Reverend, Doctor, Overseer, um, Obadiah, uh, Meshach, broke, um, has taken over his position, but this man literally wants to run this church. Um, he wants a fire and brimstone church, um, the members of the church were not allowed to do a lot of things. I mean, and the list was just outrageous. And um, his his lovely wife, Mama Max, um, she was, you know, very concerned about um, the membership going down. And But she tried to maintain and, you know, go about her daily. But then she started realizing that there was something different about um, Dr. O. He would lock himself up in his study for several hours. Um, she thought he was studying. He was studying all right. There were some surprises in that pastor's study. That's all I'm going to say. And I didn't remember that. Like, I was just like, what? But anyway, um, you know, it, it was... And then... We have to mention that, you know, he was a player back in the day and somebody from his past wanted to come back and reclaim her man. Um, and there was a lot of history there and a lot of secrets that were revealed um, throughout this book. And so I really, really, really enjoyed this book. Um, we sleep with Princess, another character in the book. She's a young lady who... Um, she's a PK and she tried to step outside the realm and, you know, live a life with this boyfriend of hers and she found out that her boyfriend was cheating on her and, you know, she was pregnant and went through a lot of things and so now she's rebuilding her life. Um, she wrote a book and she was promoting it, Jesus is my boo. Um, said, you know, ex-boyfriend tried to come back into her life and reclaim um, and that was, that was surprising to me, um, the outcome. Um, and then uh, an old friend also was vying for her time. So it was quite interesting, um, in heaven forbid. I really, really, really encourage you guys to pick up this series. As I stated in my review for Reverend Feelgood, if you are not open-minded, and don't want your eyes open about some of the things that actually go on in the church. This is not the book for you. Uh, this is the book for you. This is the book for you. If you don't want to know, if you want to stay closed-minded, 
if you want to continue to believe that pastors are perfect, first ladies are perfect, if you want to continue to believe that they don't um, suffer from the same or struggle with the same things that we struggle with every day, um, then this book is not for you. But again, I highly recommend it. Five star book. Excellent job, Letitia Lovely. Go pick it up. I'm going to post the link below. Please give me your thoughts. I thank you so much for watching the channel. Um, as you can see, it's a dreary day here in the neighborhood. Um, and I'm sorry it took me so long to come back with another video, but I've just been working on so many things. Um, thank you for your patience. Thank you for all of your support. I appreciate each and every one of you. I um, would encourage you to go over and follow me over on Diamonds Literary World um, on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter because um, I've got pictures, you know, to show you guys of some of the uh, people that I met, uh, interesting people that I met over the summer, um, and, and, you know, just little literary things. So thank you for your time. Thank you for your patience. Um, until next time, guys, happy reading and be blessed.